Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, you might have noticed the name change to Plutonic God. There's a couple reasons for that. Um, on my hiatus, I, uh, for, some, for whatever reason, started getting out of the house more. Um, well, I mean, I went through surgery. So it took like two weeks to recover from that, so that's why that wasn't a video for such a long time. Uh, also, I said I was quitting, so. Um, but it isn't really fair to you guys, so I'm going to come back with these vlogs and stuff. Um, they're going to be on a regular basis, or at least I'm going to try to. There's no guarantee, uh, but I'm going to try and at least do like one a week. Um, but... Anyway, uh, while I was on my hiatus, I got out of the house more, started approaching women and stuff. Um, just getting rejected in general. Same old thing as, you know, when I was younger, getting out of the house, getting rejected. Um, but, you know, at this point in my life, I can honestly say that I am probably, you know, I've probably been friends of friend zoned by every girl in the world or at least rejected thereof um, the reason I say that is my current situation um, you look at the things that are going on in my life and it's not really a desirable position to be in so the good news is I can probably get out of the uh, situation I'm in the the bad news is, is it's going to take an extremely uh, long amount of time. Uh, probably won't be till like my mid to late thirties. Um, so there, there is almost like zero chance that I'm going to find a girlfriend in my twenties, uh, even in my early thirty, early to mid thirties. Um, so just something I need to put on the back burner for now and really just focus on other things um, just kind of a reality I have to accept I know I struggle with that a lot um, accepting you know that this is the way it is um, but I didn't get selected when I was younger so that's just something I have to deal with um, of course as I get older I'm uh, sure my chances will increase because then you have women who actually want to settle down and they want to find betas and omega males to, to settle down with. Not necessarily because they're attracted to them, just because they need somebody to that has a, a stable lifestyle to provide resources and stuff. Um, and that's not to say over time she can become attracted to you during that relationship, but straight from the get-go it's it's important to understand that um, it's important to understand that you know survival is more important than your feelings um, and that's that's an understandable viewpoint from her perspective and of course my perspective because you know if I were in her shoes I would want to find somebody to to survive of course you have girls now that things are becoming more you know independent and stuff with third wave feminism and all that crazy stuff uh, well, I mean not that they didn't already have the rights that we that males have but they just run around screaming the shit that they are screaming then um, of course you you'll have women who are able to take care of themselves and don't don't necessarily need a dude to be in their life to provide for them, but, you know, a lot of them will want that lifestyle, you know, because a, a lot of girls are still uh, about that traditional, you know, lifestyle um, after they get older, after they're done, you know, uh, fucking around with all the uh, alpha males and stuff. But that's, that's a whole other topic the the main thing I wanted to explain was the name change and then the uh, the uh, my plans going forward with the channel 
um, which I'll be creating one video a week. I'm just kind of giving you guys an update on uh, what's going on with that. Um, and then, yeah, the name change was for the. <laughs> I got rejected a lot over the past week or so, but it, it's nothing. It's routine at this point. Um, I shaved up a little bit, cleaned up a little bit. Um, I'm going to get some nice clothes probably tomorrow uh, for my work. Not necessarily because I already have nice clothes for like going out and meeting girls and stuff. Uh, you know, I shave up, uh, looking slick and stuff. But it's just... <laughs> It's almost like it's it's almost like not worth the energy to go out and get rejected, um, but you know I still do it. So, uh, but probably going forward, my time and effort's going to be invested elsewhere, um, just because it's not necessarily that you know I don't want a girlfriend. It's that I look at the situation that I'm in and it's like would a would a girl really want me even if she is you know even if I'm out of her league you know per se of course you know with feminism running around saying uh, you know you need Brad Pitt every every girl can get a Brad Pitt um, kinda leaves guys like me um, pretty much hopeless at this point but we'll see how it plays out uh, probably in about another 10-15 Closer to 15 years, um, I'll have more of a chance, uh, a second chance, if you will, to lose my virginity. Because I read this research thing, um, you know, most guys don't lose their virginity till about 20, uh, 20 to 29. So I still have two more years, but just looking at the current situation I'm in, uh, probably not going to happen. And then uh, there's another, there's a second chance between 35 and 40. So that's probably going to be my target there. Um, if it doesn't happen by 40, the research said it, you probably live the rest of your life out as a virgin. Which, if that's what happens, that's a reality that I personally will have to come to accept. Um, it just, it just is what it is. Um, there's not really a whole lot more to say, to say about the uh, name change and the schedule and stuff going forward. Uh, Plutonic God pretty much explains itself. Uh, it shows that I have ascended the friend zone, uh, and became a, <laughs> a God of Plutonicness, if you will. Um, I, I don't think females, I don't think it's even possible for a female at this point in my life to see me as a sexual being um, and that's not you know it, it has a lot to do with how ugly I look and stuff I mean I'm not horribly looking but you know I'm, I'm definitely you know on that lower end to that 1 to 10 scale um, it's just uh, yeah it's it is what it is you, you can't really uh can't really uh can't really fight nature but uh, I've been working out and stuff so at least there's that but I'm gonna start trying to lose weight uh, get out of the uh, situation I'm in and hopefully we can unascend from being a plutonic god down to friend zone levels again and then Hopefully, you know, break out of the uh, that to where I'm actually dateable, because right now it's just pretty much friend zoned by every girl in the world. We, we just call it how it is. Um, but it is what it is. Um, I know a lot of guys are feeling the same way. Like you go out there, you get rejected constantly. Um, it's just <laughs> it's a struggle, man. It is, but. Keep your head in the game, and hopefully, maybe we can we can break this plutonic spell. Um, but yeah, it is it is a struggle. Um, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about it, but I just try to.
push it to the uh, back burner of my mind and not really focus on it so much. Well, anyway, it was good seeing you guys again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, and hopefully I'll have some more beats for you soon. I haven't really been working on them a whole lot because uh, I've been spending my time doing other things uh, like, like going out. But it is what it is, and we'll uh, we'll see. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.